was written by my uncle Pat. Um, my grandfather's name was Patrick, but he went by Pad, and it's called Pad Song. And like I said, it's about him, but it's also about the kind of man he was. It's about the kind of man that the industry back home doesn't really make anymore. He was very typical of a kind of a bygone era in Newfoundland that I've always been quite uh, interested in. Um, he, was, he, he was typical of his time. He was up on the water at 4 o'clock every single morning, and he fished all day. And he fished out of a, um, he fished out of a large boat that was rowed with two nine-foot oars, and this kind of boat was called a punt. And he would take this out into waters that I can't imagine going out, having to get there by rowing, you know. And uh, he would fish all day, he would fish alone. It was very common for these men to, uh, to be out on the water alone, you know, to be out on the water without a second set of hands to help them. And, uh, and so he was, a, he was what's, what was known as a cross-handed fisherman. A cross-handed fisherman is referenced in the chorus to this song. It was haul all day in the cross-handed way and hope that the dogfish wouldn't run. Well, cross-handed references a couple of things. The way he would hold these, these nine-foot oars, you know, hand over fist, cross-handed, these kind of position he was in. And also the hauling in his line, hand over fist, you know, these cross-handed position he was in because he didn't have a second set of hands to help him. And so a cross-handed uh, fisherman was a man who fished alone, but a cross-handed song uh, in the Newfoundland tradition is a song that's sung just as I did now, unaccompanied or a cappella, or as a friend of mine likes to say, all by your onesies. <laughs> And so you still hear some of the older folks use that word, you know, when songs are being shared. Give us something cross-handed. Well, that's what they mean. Give us something uh, a cappella. And, uh, and so the dogfish line, the hope that the dogfish wouldn't run. Well, the dogfish were a kind of small shark that used to go after the, the, uh, the cod in the nets. When they were setting nets, the, the dogfish would go after the, 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 the cod. And they would tear up the nets in doing so. And so they forced the boys to be back on, the, back on land, mending their gear, fixing their lines instead of being on the water fishing. And so that was the kind of the, the life, you know, the, the, the work he did. And it kind of amazes me, you know, it amazes me the, the strength and the will required for these men to do what was required on the water. And the strength and the will as well required of the woman at home who took care of absolutely everything else. And a lot of that work was, uh, was the actual, what, what, what was known as the making of fish, the curing and the, and the, and the taking care of, uh, of, of, of dried, uh, dried cod that went to, went to foreign markets. That was very, very hard work. And a lot, a lot of people don't, <laughs> realize in, 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 in Newfoundland kind of labor history, I don't think it's really well known how much the, uh, the, the, the women at home were responsible for the quality of the product that went to places like the European market and the West Indies. And... But anyway, he was a man who, you know, like I said, fished all day, wanting nothing more than a decent day's catch, and he wanted the wind and the weather to kind of treat him well. And in the grand scheme of things, he wanted sons to come along who could take over the fishing when he was no longer able to do it. And if you know anything about the fate of the Newfoundland cod fishery, and at least after his time, by the time those sons came along, the very last thing that they would have been staking their livelihood on was the, was the fishery that he knew. You know? And he never lived to see that, which is probably a good thing. Anyway, this is a song about a, a man I never got a chance to know, and it's called Pad Song. Was slow, but hands on 
his home And you owe no man a penny And bought your baggy with car oil And your privacy in the strength of your heart And twas holiday in the cross and it away And you hope that the dogfish wouldn't run Curse the old black punk just to keep your spirits high Keep an eye to the west for the squall by and there were three daughters born with no sign of a boy coming on and your woman worry she was young fair and strong and she smiled from her garden on the hill then with two boys born and coming in to their own All your comrades went chasing a dream And you died never knowing of the wealth that you passed on for its own it started to be seen And it was holding In the cross and it away And you'd hope that the dogfish wouldn't run Curse the old black pond just to keep your spirits high, keep an eye to 